figure out the bottom seeds in these conferences that have some sort of one to one. I'm curious, yeah, obviously, the NCAA tournament going on. Do you think that there could be a. <laughs> no. No. That's whack. Okay. That's whack. Yeah, that's whack. Why? You gotta earn your spot to be in the postseason. No consolation for finishing last or think that's that's corny. But then you, you could have that's corny. You know, twelve through That's why. <laughs> to play for what were they playing for? A play in, like to get into the playoffs. So it'd be a there'd be nine teams in each? Well you would you would have like ten and then seven through ten would play to get the seven and eight. Even if my record is better than yours? Yeah. No, nah, that's why. <laughs> it's not an idea. It's not, it's no, no. idea. You're asking the question, yeah. so yeah, you know. No, it's whack. Okay. LeBron, lo lots of talk in Toronto about the way they've changed their style of play this year. When, when you've looked at them over the last few months, how different have they looked to you in comparison to, to years past? Uh, well, first of all, I haven't looked at them over the last few months. I've watched them, obviously, as a because I watch basketball every night, so I've seen them. Um, they're, they're a better team. Um, and I think they're better teams because they, they was able to re-sign Lowry and re-sign DeRozan. Uh, they kept that nucleus together. Uh, Valanciunas has gotten better, um, and they have shored up their bench. I think, um, you know, with Porto, Siakam, um, you know, um, Wright, uh, Van Fleet, who killed us in Toronto before our last game, um, C.J. Miles, they do a good job of just keeping up the tempo when they make those subs. But it all starts with DeRozan and Lowry. We all know that, and they've been playing exceptionally. Uh, you know, well this season. That's the reason uh, they've been playing great ball. Can you guys play that in January? Obviously, it didn't go well, but half your team from then is gone. Uh, so when you're trying to assess Cavs and Raptors, do you have to start over and start with tonight? No, because half of our roster is still gone. <laughs> no, they're no, they're they two guys. Um, oh, Maybe. you know something I don't know. Oh, I have no idea until uh, I don't know. So, um, no, they're they're in a they're in a better place than we are right now because they've had more consistency and they've had you know their guys in the lineup for the majority of the year. Uh, so you know they know what they want to accomplish. They know who they are at this point in the season. And um, you know obviously you guys know about us. Uh, we're still trying to figure it out. How much stock do you put into with going into the playoffs, regular season success, not just for you guys but for other teams? How much is it? Regular season success. How much is it for you guys? Like the resume, the history, what you guys. Have I don't worry about other teams. Um, all I worry about is what we're trying to do around here um, every year. Um, you know, obviously this has been a challenging year for us. You know, just with the, the ins and outs, and not only from trades but injuries and things of that nature. And I mean, our head coach is out right now, so you know, I don't. You know, this this year is a, a totally different challenge for us. And. You know, I, I haven't given any energy to what other teams have been doing this year besides me being a fan and watching games every night. Um, but as far as assessing what other teams are doing, I, I haven't done that. How, if at all, does things change when you like the court with love back, specifically for you guys and you My mindset doesn't change. Uh, the way I approach the grand, uh, game is, is with aggression, is uh, getting my guys involved, defend, rebound. Do a little bit of everything on the floor, Cassidy. So it doesn't it doesn't change. My mindset and my approach to the game never changes. LeBron, with all the adversity you guys have faced this year, and you're still facing now with Ty Lue being out with the injuries, can that make this team better as you guys, you know, start the coaching the, uh, the postseason game? No, we don't know. I mean, that's that's for us to see. We don't know. We don't know until it gets here. I mean, that could be a narrative if you want to take that. Okay, it could be a narrative, or or it could not. You don't know. You know, it's it's the unknown. Um, but what is known is, is I'll be available. And uh, so we got a chance. And, uh, you know, and I know the rest of the guys, uh, you know, that's available. It's going to be ready for any challenge that we get for the rest of this regular season going into the postseason. So, you know, that's all you can ask for. Did you learn anything about Coach Drew the other night? No. Nah. And that's not a no, like, oh, he doesn't. Hey, Coach Drew, he's been in his league for for a long time and has been around here, you know, for the last few years, obviously. So, you know, it's, he's been a head coach in this league. So, it's, there's nothing that, you know, that we learned the other night that we didn't already know.
Brown, with so many guys out, is there a way to speed up that process when they come back and figure out how it works all together? I mean, at this point, it's the only way we can do it is try to speed it up. But, um, you know, it's going to – I don't know. I mean, the good thing about for Tristan, he, he knows the system. You know, so he should be able to fit right in. Um, you know, Jetty is you know, it's his rookie year, so, you know, he, he hated to have that setback for him. Um, you know, when Hood comes back, um, you know, he's, he's a little bit behind the eight ball because he just got here as well. So it'll take a little bit of time. And, uh, you know, and obviously, you know, with um, – you know, not sure how long Kyle will be away from the team, um, you know, for obvious reasons. Um, you know, but he's been around the system as well, so he'll fit right back in. So we'll see what happens. Brian, you've got a couple guys that haven't been in the playoffs. I know you've had some big games against Oklahoma City and Boston since some of the new guys got here. Anything that can be done throughout the regular season, maybe even in a game like tonight against Toronto, to replicate some kind of playoff environment that no. so they have an idea? No. Nope. Can you tell them to give them an idea, or is it something that they have to see? No. Nah. Well, best teacher in life is experience. Um, you know, I think, you know, try to get a layup. That's what I tell new All-Stars when they come to the All-Star game. Try to get a layup. You know, that'll calm you down a little bit instead of shooting a jump shot. But, listen, my first year back here, we had four guys in our top eight who'd ever been to a postseason game. And that was Kyrie, Deli, um, Tristan, and the four guys or those three? No, he was gone. Uh, Tristan, Kev, Delhi, yeah, had those guys. They had never been, um, you know, to a, to a postseason game. So, um, yeah. and Kyrie, yeah, I think did I say Kyrie first? I just missed the yeah, and Kevin. So those four guys, you know, so you know, it was just about you know just living in the moment, and those those guys definitely did that. Okay. Sad news about Kyle's brother. I mean, you probably can't imagine. Someone that no, I can't. Uh, first of all, I don't have any siblings, so I can't relate. Uh, but I do have sympathy for for not only for my brother, uh, but for his family. Um, it's, it's, it's tragic, you know, um, for him to lose a little brother um, in the fashion that it happened. Um, you know, my prayers goes out to the Cobra family and, and everyone that has anything to do with his family. And um, you know, I hope he take as much time as he need. Um, you know, to get back to himself, which won't happen, you know, obviously overnight or within the next couple of months or maybe in the next few years. But uh, the healing process starts now, and, uh, you know, we're part of the support group. So he has a lot of support here. But, uh, um, I mean, what else can you say? It's, uh, it sucks.